So I've got a lot on my plate, so I'll just get into it. But uh, specifically World of Horror stuff, and I don't really want to say what it is exactly until I do it. It's a few things, um, one of which, again, I think I said it for the previous, um, as we start with Yashiro here. Um, I started it in, in one of the previous, more recent videos, sorry, where I was uh, talking about releasing a thing. And I don't think I ever did, uh, because I was still doing stuff, and I couldn't get to it. So, uh, without further ado, though... As we get into Ath, Curious Birthmark, character exclusive Yashiro. Yeah, I had I stumbled there for a moment because I was I wanted to say something. That's more for timestamps. That's why I stopped to um, say the God backstory and stuff. But anywho, dexterity, light, knowledge, charisma, second second encounter maybe, but no strength. That's uh. Let's see if I remember that much, but. Yeah, I wanted to get through a lot of things, and I don't know if I'll really get to them. If anything, they'll be very, very short videos. Um, the term itself is literally there, so um, yeah, we'll see if I can get to doing things. Otherwise, as I get through Yashiro. Yashiro, uh, transition to talking about Yashiro. Um, he's okay. Again, I usually, my opinion, and I've said it before, I'll say it still now, because I think it still applies. I'm not saying that there are characters that are, that may be objectively worse or better. Um, at least in terms of Harbinger in a c consistent vacuum of runs. Again, that's my uh, that's my point of balance. Bulletin, painting, vigil, arms, mermaids. Uh, bulletin, please. But uh, I don't think any characters bad, bad. They're all workable. Um, maybe you can argue. You you might be able to argue to me and persuade me that uh, a few of them are bad-ish. But and also we're not. I don't usually include custom characters that are default, but technically I do. So, um, yeah, if we do, if we do include that, then we know who the West, worst, it's Hayano. Um, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a mix, because she's, she's more for, um, she has a lot of human error type perks, uh, in my opinion. Um, because even, yeah, that sounds weird, because you, you, you really might think, well, there's only one, um, perk that really helps you out with, you know, remembering things, and that's the, um, I think Premonition shows you which stat you're gonna roll. But uh, there's also the ones that guarantee your stat, che that uh, guarantee stat checks after a certain point, question mark, or guarantee luck checks. But sometimes you're looking to fail those. Yes, while theoretic, that sounds strange. Theoretic, I'm deciding on whether or not I want to, because I have a uh, painting. So yeah, let's do forest first then. Um, but yeah, it might sound weird because you're like, well, theoretically, you still pass uh, those luck checks guaranteed, and I think they go through ill-fated, but even if that's the case, uh, it's because a lot of us who play on hard, well, I know, at least I do, uh, I try to, uh, think this way, is that I assume I'm going to fail 90%, I'm not gonna say every event, that's a bit too, uh, that's a bit too, uh, I would be exaggerating at that point, but I assume I'm gonna be failing a lot of events, um, and even if you get luck checks, yes, you have to... One, you have to know where the luck checks are, which I should, but sometimes I don't. Also, I never bought a weapon, so... Uh, can I run? No, there's Ath, right? Yep. Well, I made a mistake already. Um, I think we do our best with what we've got. Three Doom and a lot of pain. I made a huge mistake. Uh, well, let's see. Because uh, if anything else, I can test out the... Oh, three kicks is good, right? Three kicks is good. Also, I am on... Wait, he can do that to me? Wait, what? No, Curious Birthmark. I was about to say. Anywho, uh, we need we want to hit a lot of these. Uh, and then after this, we can just prep, kick, prep, kick. And yeah, that's why kicking three times is bad, in my opinion. But on easier difficulties, it is more feasible. Just It's just not feasible in, uh, <laughs> in Harbinger. But if you're going for a challenge run, you can do whatever you want. But um, yeah, that's not the case here. So, Heavy Duty Flashlight... Uh, but yeah, speak, continuing the topic about Hayano is that she, um, so that's two perks down, and I think she has another two, but I can't remember off the top of my head. It's just, but two perks down already is already not too great. Granted, again, they still have the theoretical value, but they don't, and events are important to pass in this game. It's just, it's, it's sometimes not enough. So, uh, let's visit the forest one more time. Uh, I should have sold my library notes for fun, so I've made two mistakes. Okay, I'll focus up in a bit, but basically, Hayano's probably the only real one that you can convince me on because I've kind of flipped around on Mizuki. Not that Mizuki's amazing, but she's definitely workable in my opinion um, because of the ally attack option, that strat that becomes available to you. But um, yeah, whether or not that's for the best, uh, because it, 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 I'll admit maybe it's not feasible on most. Uh, or uh, a good number of runs, but it is, um, it's better than what you would normally do without ally attack, so, um, 
uh, at times, uh, especially depending on your mystery layout. And again, that's when I say that at, if you have the if the stat is available to use, then it becomes much more feasible. Do I die here for this, by the way? No. OK, so let's get out of here. But yeah, let me focus up for a bit because I am going crazy. Uh, the glitch magician was my first encounter. So I should remember that. Um, everything looks totally bad. I could old coin away the flashbacks, but I don't want to. 47% doom, however, is not great, but that's, again, that's because of me, kind of. As we fill this empty bottle and move on. So painting vigil arms, mermaids. Uh, let's take painting first, then. If for no other reason than to get a light source, maybe. Um, actually, I do want to fight, maybe. I may want to fight ghosts regularly, so... But light sources at least still work when they're in your inventory, as opposed to the bronze crucifix, which must be equipped uh, to work in ghost encounters. I believe so. I just know I usually always do that, so that's why I uh, think about that that way. Um, but if I'm going to use Monument, effectively my Doom is at 43%, so I'm still in a bit of trouble. Um, if we have Flood, that would be nice, but I think I may add Vigil. Um, so this this is going to be a very Doom-intensive run. One that I could have avoided because I took at least three... Uh, oh, I don't want... Oh. Well, it's a Perception weapon, never mind, but... The Heavy Duty Flashlight isn't the worst either. Well, we might as well sell this. Uh, yeah, I'd rather take the Flashlight, even though we don't have the Light Check in the... Do we have the Light Check in the... I thought we have Takshi Sun. Uh, I guess I can check again. But regardless, um, it would be great. To, yeah, I think I'm just going to take... Ugh. Do I want to just take three reason? Rolling on 40. Ugh. Yeah, we'll just take three reason damage. That's quite a lot. Damage does add up over time. Uh, if you're looking at, if you're looking, if you're thinking, if you're looking at damage and you're like, oh, I'm only taking one extra, that it it adds up. So, um, again, especially on Harbinger where your max uh, stamina and max reason are lowered. So every time it lowers, again, you're essentially losing about seven to ten percent ish of your HP uh, because most curses and injuries uh, lower. Oh, I didn't mean to do this too, but uh, we're here now, so I have things to forget. Um, so why not? I could have actually lowered that damage, but what would what, what would I have gotten for that? A 50% on three reason. I mean, still, theoretically, RNG would be on my side, but... I guess we're not gonna do that. So there's my third- this is my third mistake that I, uh, caught for sure. Um, We definitely need a brace here. I might need to throw things as well. Um, hmm. Yeah, I need, I need this to hit, so 50-50. Uh, and then we hope for the best. Or I could trade a bunch of stamina for reason, but that's a bit, that's a bit much. Um, that said, I don't, it's not like I survive with this anyway, so let's start throwing things and see what we get. Um, yeah, I'd have to throw a lot, actually. But I don't think I really have a choice. Um, I don't- I think the Bronze Crucifix may do 0 or 1. I can't remember the exact number. Otherwise, I have to forget this and brace again. And hope. And if we don't have the flashlight- uh, we don't have the light check, then I could throw the flashlight as well, but I definitely need to hit one of these. Uh, do I need to hit one of these? 12, 13, uh, 13, yeah. I think I do, because even- if I do this, this isn't enough. Well, we- let's throw the flashlight now, then. Okay, that does 3, so I can go for a kick. And then I'll defeat it next turn, unless I have a weird curse. But hey. At least we survive for now. Um, that said, my doom is rising through the roof, but hey. Uh, so what? Yeah, time skip school curfew. Um, and technically I could still- oh, well, that's- I mean, I could- can't I let go of Amy? Well, too late now. Um, uh, let's heal reason instead. Oh yeah, we can let Amy go, but- a. I, I didn't even know that's what she did, uh, that she heals reason. But anywho, let's move on with our life. Uh, Vigil, arms, mermaid. Yeah, let's do arms now. Uh, we're doing arms now because we can at least um, arrest encounters in the other mysteries. Arms, however, is just a bunch of uh, arms, literally. So if we're on timeline B anyway. Alternatively, uh, now let's monument now. Ask for funds, please. Ask for funds again, please. Nope. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have to be happy with this. I would grab cigarettes. That would really help, but I don't think I really get the chance. Yeah, and with Ath increasing Doom, 
Uh, it's not great, but we have to deal with the cards we're dealt, and I want to hope for good uh, rolls, but there's only so much you can do on Harbinger. I want to even say that your luck decreases by 15% against you, but uh, what I can do with that now is go in here. A brick would have been nice, but we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, we're, we're actually going to visit the tree twice. Um, I need I need these... Uh, I need these cigarettes. Well, now I should have just traded the funds, but... Anywho. Um... What do I want to do? Uh, we can try to get rid of Mind Wire. Yeah, let's do that, because I still want to level up, if for no other reason than to heal. Uh, flash bl bl flashbacks and hallucinations will stick with. And yeah, my faith going down... Eh, I mean, I might want it now. Because if I'm not planning to level up, while well, level 2 is quite abysmal, eh... Also, this is not great either, because I would have liked to smoke cigarettes if I knew I was going to be in this fight. But, since we're stuck in it, uh, I need to hit, I think, all three of these? If I don't, we're just going to start losing... Uh, no, we don't. We can brace and uh, double boost kick. Uh, and hopefully we get out of here soon, because we still have Vigil, which means we're going to be taking a lot of Doom damage, just by nature of investigation, unless we get some... Doom decreasing mansion events, which is why I consider mansion not as bad, although it does have bad things here and there. And uh, yeah, the only one of the only events where you don't want to roll a one, two, or a three. But hey, I'm on encounter lockout, so nothing bad should happen. Uh, but now we can possibly run into another event, I think. So, or uh, another enemy. Sorry. So let's do this. Uh, that was the one event I didn't want to run to, but we are on timeline B, so I did make a good call with the cigarettes. The question is if I still survive, but at least this encounter isn't as bad, in my opinion. Uh, is what I think. Uh, I think I used Cauterize too, but hey, we're, we're gonna do this for now and we're probably gonna go pretty low. Uh, I could take Sailors now, or yeah, I, I mean, I could take, uh, uh, Mermaids now. What do I get for this? Can I do prep attack at least? I get close. I need at least one more of these before I can even think about it. But otherwise, I really need to... Uh, I really need to pass this. I can also go 87-87. Is that better? Than no, I can't. I can go 87-77, uh, which is about 60-ish percent. I'm just going to uh, lowball it. Or, yeah, this is 67%. So, pretty much the same. So, I am I part of the 67% is the question. The answer is yes. We got a demon mask, and you know what? We might as well equip that. Um, And we take a bath and heal stamina, and I think I want to do vigil first. Um, And we hope, we hope, for the, we hope for the best, because effectively our doom can be at 61-ish percent right now. So, hopefully that happens. If it doesn't, we die. Also, I lose the power to fight properly against ghost encounters, but... Oh, that's right, Yashiro needs more experience, because I don't know why. But three claps and about... I, I never agreed, but I don't know why... Well, yeah, I I think my exact reaction when Yashiro got his first nerf, which was he needs 140, 440 experience to level up, uh, was... Um, I was baffled, because I didn't know why he needed it. Um, I, I don't... Did I ever say he was strong? Because if I did, I don't know why I ever said that. Maybe that was during True Believer where I didn't mind as much and things weren't doing, like, an extra point of damage, but... Uh, yeah, not anymore, so... Also, that's right, we are, we are on Curious Birthmark, so we can get curses every time. Uh, my question is, yeah, let's just guarantee this last one. Or let's try to guarantee it, because that wasn't guaranteed, but this is. So, uh, 10 damage per turn. But I would like 12 at minimum, but that's not always you that's not always the case. So um What I could go for is a meat cleaver so that I get bonus damage on human and monsters. Uh, you know what? Let's go for it. Uh let's see how good or bad this is for me. Because I forgot that as I was using the heavy duty flashlight, I that is a light source in itself. So I don't know why well I mean I know why I grabbed the flashlight, because at least I can throw it as opposed to the empty chainsaw where you can't. So, yeah, in that event, you actually go positive number-wise, but you do lose stamina. But 
I always say that I take reason more reason damage in World of Horror is my little subjective experience. I don't know if that's the objective truth. If you take more reason damage on average, usually I think the dev uh, said that they did a they try to balance everything for the most part. There might be, you know, if we're talking about what stats are checked, you know, maybe strength has two more checks. Uh, maybe you take like an average of two more reason, but that's not so bad. It's not like you're taking six more reason. Although to me, it feels that way. Um. Unfortunately, I can't run, so let's just do this. Uh, we have every stat check but strength, so I'm going to take that assuming I survive this somehow. Oh, that's a big if, though, I guess. Unless I throw the... Okay, so if I said I didn't have a light check, I should just throw the heavy-duty flashlight. I don't know why I don't remember. That does It does do six damage when thrown, and I think I even get out without needing to throw the bronze crucifix. Although I'd rather, I, I was more looking to throw it just to see how much damage it did, but this should be 13 damage. Uh, and then we get out. Also, over the past few months, I forgot to mention this. I don't know why, I just wanted to bring it up as we get fed fumes, but I wasn't going to rest anyway. Is that I have seen uh, certain other, um, certain other gameplay on both this platform and other platforms on World of War. And, you know, it's been a blast watching. Um, if they, they play on True Believer on Harbinger, so be it. But most of the time, people are going very uh, slow, and that's not an insult. That's just, you know, if you're experiencing the game, the game for the first time, eat well. Because um, there's a lot to read over and look at in this game. What's not, what we don't, what's, uh, what, where there isn't a lot to look at is this gameplay, because I'm about to die. But, um, hopefully I don't. Ah, uh, five. Yeah, this is a plant enemy. If it if it was um, if it was uh, basically something that Meat Cleaver gets bonus damage on, maybe. But we'll throw this because now I'm curious. Two HP. All right. Um, that still means I need to do um, a big desperate action play, and at some point I'm gonna miss a lot of them. But so how much does this do? Uh, nine. So it is enough. Uh, 9 for 9. I just need to roll 95 and 65, and if not, uh, I guess we're just going to the next um, playthrough. Yep. So yeah, that was that was due to mistakes in the beginning. Uh, I can say, or well, I can try to promise to focus a bit more net coming up, because my recent videos, uh, that's usually not the case, but I have the notes in front of me, so 7th Curse, all perks, Kathak. That's usually the pattern, character perks into all perks, but maybe that's not the case sometimes. Because I'm going kind of pseudo-random, so... Kathak, 7th Curse, all perks, um, Dexterity, 2nd, 2nd Strength, Takshisan, and maybe a Light Check. So, good to know that now. Um, yeah, we'll keep the hardware store, because we don't start with a weapon. If we did, it would be nice, but we don't. And, uh, we'll do it again, why not? From what I see, most people get like two uses out of the library notes, although there is a lot of reason to lose. I just happen to roll badly, but you know, that's you know, that's normal for me, so I'll just take it in the face. And then we'll just move on, because we have all perks. Vigil, bulletin, ramen, festival, coma. Alright, bulletin again. Uh and let's finally okay, maybe we don't need to prepare. We'll check the history club once. Uh yeah, why not? We're we'll hardware shop and oh, that's I'm actually gonna buy the pocket knife. Um, and let's go back in. All right, carpenter hammer is at least usable, in my opinion, compared to what I saw, which is just double crowbar. I, I'll take it. And then I, might, I guess I might as well just do rock ring now, uh, because I've already used the reason. Unless I'm about to get more, but you know what? Let's just check again. Holy glyphs. Um, let's see if I can actually use this. That'll depend on how many items I get, but. If nothing else, I spent three Doom for one reason healing, so... Uh, the main reason why I went in, though, is to try and use the Monument, but... Theoretic... Well, no, it's a, it, it is actually still efficient, because... Just... Mainly because there's not a, ways to, not a lot of ways to decrease Doom, though, granted... Um, uh, granted, you will... Lowering your stamina and reason can get dangerous, but it's not the most dangerous. Uh, not the most dangerous, if I can speak correctly. Uh, there's the Moriko event. There was no way I was getting outdoorsman, so ho ho, nothing for me here. Why did I say that? Is it because I'm wearing the Christmas costume? Anywho, well, there goes a lot of my reason, as I said, and I'm going to forget spells to heal reason, as I said. 
Um, but yeah, two two reason to possibly lower my doom by four. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, what is is not being able to get funds there for experience. But um, I actually do want to level up because okay, so that this was the event I was thinking of. Three reason for five doom. Although we are dying on reason, uh, it's not the worst thing. Um, and even with that few, with those few um, ways or a handful of ways to decrease doom. On Harbinger, though, it can get a bit rough. Uh, so yeah, I should have saved something. Oh, I should have also equipped this. I almost made a mistake. Um, now, if I run into out of funds, I will trade stamina. Because we have a bunch of stamina. Or now we've lost stamina. But I didn't want. I didn't prepare because I didn't want to up my doom. So I guess we're just going to take this in the face. Uh, if and when I get it. Unless I get an item here that I can sell. I would rather trade this in for funds than get 10 experience. Funny enough. That said, why is my uh, experience so low? Is it because I haven't run to it and haven't passed a lot of checks? But um, let's not take that curse and let's just give up. Unfortunately, I have this frostbite on me now. I think I should still be able to... Yeah, I sh I'm still able to prep attack, prep attack. So, four strength is still workable. It's just that I won't be able to brace into a guaranteed kick. But, for now, prep attack, prep attack with the carpenter hammer will still work. In about a mystery or two, it won't, but hey. So, we'll take this key, heal some reason, move on with life. So, I don't want to take Vigil with Frostbite, Ramen Festival, Coma. Uh, I guess Coma now, Vigil next is the plan, unless I get a bunch of, uh, pain, is what I'm trying to say. We also have a good number of school and downtown invest- or at least, I know I have a few downtown investigations in Coma, so... It's not the worst thing, and this, however, continuing to- continuing to roll badly is not great. Uh, this, however, hmm, can I brace? I can get close, I don't think I can though, yeah. If I could hit this, that would be nice, but uh, I'm not going to roll on that RNG. Okay, so with five, yeah, with four strength, I actually can't do prep attack, prep attack. Huh, okay. Cool to know. Uh, but we'll take our extra experience. So three stamina for 15 experience. Uh, could do better. Sometimes worse. And we'll move on. I didn't know I was going to get the nice ring. Otherwise, obviously, I would have used the book. And yep, that was that's actually a fair charisma check, but... We're Yashiro right now with, uh... Nope, we're just Yashiro, is what it is. That rolled a 9, and I will lament my RNG as I proceed to slowly lose stamina and reason. And just die outright! Cool! Um... Yeah, cool. So, that's the other reason why I don't like to stay at 3. Some people are like, oh, I'll just stay at 3 stamina or below, but... One I didn't know I was gonna run into that event specifically and fail that one, because that's, uh... That was a strength check, I believe, but moving on. So, therefore, more proof as to why uh, I like to stay at 4 stamina and 4 reason and above. But thinking about it now, you know, it wasn't the worst thing. Uh, Hunted by the cult. Where are you? Okay. Uh, random item statistics and um, Ethotu. So yeah, if there's if I need any more reason to remind myself why, because I you know you're like, well, isn't three stamina or reason and below usually good for desperate action? And I'm like, yeah, it is, but events can just do two stamina or reason, and then you get the threat level penalty, and then you die. So light dexterity, um, second charisma, no, every single stat check except strength. Second maybe mystery, light check, no Takshisan. So hey, maybe we survived this one, but yeah, let's not let's not deny that. Uh, Yashiro is not the greatest character, um, at least on Harbinger in a vacuum of runs. He can be good, it's just um, you can argue the same for other characters who happen to get lucky. So, Anywho, let's look for this rumor, unless we just want to take two reason. I mean, I could. It's not impossible to do, it's just nice to do if you're on a character perk run. Footage, Mermaids, Kana, Sailor, Scissor. So, this is what I mean by having some good RNG at least, uh, starting with Kana. But, again, the run is bare, is not even being close to over, so... Let's grab our funds and uh, do our best. Also, a lot of the time I'm, like, poking around in the History Club just to see if I can get anything. Um, 3 Doom or 6 Doom... Yeah, I'd rather get the. I would rather get that, and then let's look for an item here. Uh, Monkey wrench, actually. I think it's still the best weapon to carry 
example, even for Yashiro here. Maybe if I was Kiri or someone who had seven knowledge or who could easier easily more easily build into seven knowledge, fine. But for now. I also didn't check the police station. I should have checked. Uh we'll take more doom decrease. Hospital forest. Uh, I'm just gonna do forest for now, if for no other reason than to grab handcuffs, but let's find out. As we keep Kana with us. But yeah, what I, what I want to do complete the thing on as I roll a 9 in my knowledge check is that um, other characters who get lucky, you know, they can either do better or just the same uh, in terms of how good they can roll. Well, again, the one event where I do roll 1, 2s, and 3s happens to be that one. Granted, you're not usually going to run into uh, STE, but with, the, with say, if you have arms into ramen and you get STE on your first non-ramen arms uh, mystery, yeah. Also, I forgot to equip the bronze crucifix, so... That's on me, but we probably only we probably still get out in two turns. So um, yeah, it's not it's not too much of a loss. If I if this was third mystery onward, maybe. But let's equip it now for if for no other reason than to get more space in the inventory, and move on. Let's store this for now too because I don't need it yet. But anywho, um, funds. That way I can just trade a little bit of Doom here, as opposed to losing two Stamina or two Reason, usually. Uh, run from the window? Okay, good. I don't- I didn't remember that one. That's one I should start to remember, because I've always- I've always switched it up. It's because you- some events I try to treat kind of logically as I wait for these eels to crawl out. Is that stamina is stamina is the failure on the left choice and reason is the failure on the right choice. That's how I remember some events and things. Uh, but other events and uh, things like the bath, uh, sometimes I have to remember that um, they they're switched around. And that event in particular at the window there is something I don't usually remember. But anywho, we have three reason. I would like a little more. Even I would even want five. I sometimes don't like to stay at four. But hey. Uh, we'll take footage now in case we get roads blocked. Price hike, but let's try to be a bit more um, efficient. Or let's try to be a bit more stingy with our doom as Atho two proceeds to increase my doom by three. But give me ten experience for it. So, uh, chat to heal reason, quote unquote, heal reason. Um, yeah, we'll visit the mansion twice. Why not? And yeah, possibly lower our doom like that. Give me the other one. Time for a bath? No time for a bath. Well, this is just as good, because uh, at least it's not the Rumu Ghost. Or the Easy Encounter, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's oof, the penalty there. And now I'm stuck in the forest. So I happen to lose three reason right after... Yep, that's... Alright, well, uh, who else? Who would have avoided this? Technically Toshiaki, because I would have been like, well, I might as well rest anyway. Um, uh, Aiko would have gotten away if I quit the bronze crucifix earlier, maybe, but I don't think I- Well, actually, let's- before I die, let me do some introspection. Um, so four. Yeah, and I think it's actually a, a stat times three modifier now. I swear it used to be four, but maybe that was a shadow nerf, or- unless I missed it, but... Yeah, now, if with four strength, I only get a 12 speed decrease, so now I can't prep attack, prep attack with the monkey wrench. So even if I could... Um, it would have been a two-turn encounter anyway, because Toshiaki has four strength. This matters because the Twisted Corpse is what killed a lot of my reason, or helped kill a lot of my reason, on top of losing reason and events, but that's the first thing I can think of. Aiko has faster actions, or she could have just run. I could have also run as uh, Yashiro, but, you know, um, who else? Uh, technically not Ayaka, because Ayaka, my main problem with her is, well, not problem in terms of she's a worse character, but she, um, her early game is what you need to survive most of the time, and if you get unlucky, then the run becomes a bit rougher, um, even, because really all you're looking for is Doom Mania, Doom Mania? Blood Mania, uh, for, uh, combat, anywho, um, yeah, so Mizuki, Mizuki, I would have gotten a lot of allies, uh, Twisted Corpse, though, would be, would have been a kind of a trouble, troublesome one. Uh, so yeah, not, maybe not Mizuki. It's mainly Twisted Corpse, and that's a ghost encounter, which... Actually, Aika has the, um... Well, no, because then she wouldn't be able to brace. It would still be a two-turn encounter for Twisted Corpse, who has 14. And I would need at least 7 damage per sever, if I'm looking to sever. Um, yeah, not really anything else. So this is just a bad Yashiro run. Um, that said, 
Is there really nothing I can do here? Do I just end up dying? Yeah, I end up dying, don't I? Well, I did my best. I'll drink this. I'll equip this. Or uh, not that. Uh, oh, that. I was looking for the gruesome totem, but it's not like that helps me anyway. So, uh, yeah, I guess I die. Um, no, I'm not going to end the video here. So let's do one more run because that was that gave me my salty run back. So, uh, yeah, because I usually have a fourth run prepared. So Yashiro again. Character specific. This is more a standard one because this is seventh into a Thotu. Also, being it being on a Thotu hurt as well. But maybe I should have run. Yeah, if I knew I was going to take three reason. Well, if anything else, that lets me know. Because I used to never take three damn, you know. Anywho, hold on. I'll talk about it in a moment. Dexterity, second mystery, knowledge, strength, light, and second encounter. No Takshi-san. Uh, but, yeah, so knowledge and strength would be nice. Um, but, so there was a thing that I used to do as well, where in encounters, if I was going to take three or more damage, I would just run. And, you know, some people try to persuade me away from it. They're like, well, sometimes you just want to do attack, attack. And so I did attack, attack on the Twisted Corpse, and I died for it later on, because I just took a lot of reason damage. Now, whether that was just bad RNG or not, I mean, sure, but I, I still, in hindsight, could have avoided it. Uh, in this case, hindsight at least gives me th those lessons. So, if you want any, if you're wondering why I don't take three reason or three stamina, or possibly even, well, doom is a bit trickier, but usually I would probably not take three doom as well. Sailors, footage, Akamanto, arms, painting. Uh, but, yeah, from now on, I just run from encounters that do three of anything, even if it's doom. Uh, then just know that this is the, this video is the trigger why I've stopped doing that. But anywho. I almost didn't pick up a weapon, so I'm a bit heated right now. But we'll pick up the Monkey Wrench again and work with it. Uh, because we have a Strength check anyway, so... Um, looking at the mysteries I have... Oh, man. Akamanto doesn't have a Seaside. We have a lot of Downtown, so since I want to do uh, Arms and Akamanto next, which Arms has one Downtown, but since we're doing Akamanto as well, it would behoove us to um, look Downtown. And we can arrest Akamanto at least. So yeah, and let's let's be stingy with our doom again. And uh, yeah, just to repeat one more time, if I if you see me run away from three damage encounters, even though we have a hundred percent doom, so you have more doom to work with. Just take just do the encounter, then yeah, and yeah, three doom, but you run away. You can at least get experience if you fight it for six doom. But yeah, this is this video is the trigger, so we'll see how well I do. Um, because if nothing else, I'm gonna practice for the Nuzlocke before 1.0 comes out. Maybe to kind of spoil what I was thinking of. Whether or not I really start doing it, though, I at least want to get through these character ones first. We have three charisma, by the way. But uh, yeah, we'll see what I decide to do. Confront the person because I have okay amount of luck. The game rolls a 2, but you know what? Fair enough, because the game rolls anything from 1 to 12 with modifiers. And, yep. Unless I can brace here, which I can't, let's run away. Because the brace the brace nerf wasn't that bad. Again, I don't say these things to be uh, mean. I am being sarcastic, but uh, listen, to in my subjective world of horror, it's... I, I must. I must not assume that the brace action is not hurting me as much as it actually does. Uh, five time units, by the way. But anywho. Uh, three all? Yep. So at this point, you're probably like, well, Jordan, you're running way too much. Well, if nothing else, I can use the monument. Uh, this is seventh curse, but we can get a dog. I would rather take stamina damage now, too. So yeah, yeah here we go. I forgot to visit the mansion twice, so I visited the mansion for no reason as well. But hey. Um, and yeah, so we have to, we just have to decide. And we have Akamanto, so theoretically, we are still working with, um, also that, oh, who was it? Infested Girl, Infested Girl, I can see it right here. No, Bark Woman, Bark Woman. I'm going crazy. Bark Woman was our second encounter. Um, let's remember that now. As we go into, um, arms now, because hopefully we can handcuff, um, um, Akamanto, which will make the encounter easier, so I might as well do something quote-unquote harder and uh, take arms. But anywho. Alternatively, if I was going to run this... No, no, no. I'd have to get through a good part of the run before I go to the police station and trade a bunch of experience for um, funds. But 
Yeah, also, because we're on a throw two, everything's doing super damage, but I haven't gotten to level up. And yes, if I defeated an encounter, I would have leveled up, but look at the encounters I'm running into and tell me that I shouldn't be running from them. Or uh, tell me that I should be fighting them, because that's... It's really painful. So yeah, with that, we're going to get our first pack of cigarettes, by the way. Um, and if we run to out of funds, we'll gladly trade. Well, actually, let's monument first. Uh, we could have asked for uh, funds, but I was willing to take the risk because uh, we needed to. Oh, heal me. Nope. Why would it? It rolled an 11, so it didn't even matter if I was music -y, but, you know. Roll of the dice. Oh, immediately out after... Um, Going off encounter cooldown. It happens to be one of the few... Yeah, happens to be at a time when I need reason. Well... It would be it would have been nice to have stealth right now, funny enough. Um, because at least I could have gotten experience for running, but... You know. And let's see if we're on timeline. Actually, let's smoke these cigarettes and we're gonna do a thing. Yeah, we are on timeline B. Um, and let's just do this. So, 12 damage, 12, uh, 12 damage per turn... Next turn, I can probably get... Oh, no, I can't. Whew. Um, I have Cauterize, but... Do I want to roll on a 57? Uh, I don't. So I'm just going to prep attack, prep attack again, and use Cauterize, I think. Alternatively, I could have... No, I couldn't have. So let's just do this and get out. Maybe Heavy Duty is better. No, it's not, because I wouldn't even be able to prep attack, prep attack anyway, which is why um, it is very valuable. That said, Zeal is probably going to be for the best. Do I have an ally with me? I don't. Uh, on my own, double into Strength or Zeal. For Because uh, on, on your own would be for the Lighthouse, where I have a Knowledge and Strength check. And I can... I can... I may be able to get... Um, Thingy. Oh, now I remember why uh, a part of... I think, well, I, if nothing else, a theory as to why I believe Yashiro was nerfed. But it's because uh, at the end of every mystery, if you end with positive faith, you get extra experience. So theoretically, he was leveling up faster than most characters. So that's why adding a bit of experience to his max ex experience needed to level up was uh, seemed to be warranted. And I can see where that comes from still, though. Um, his perks are, you know... They can be good, but they're not... Amazing, amazing is what I want to say. So, uh, yeah. Um, we're gonna witch tree for funds if we get things. Yeah, it doesn't panic doesn't matter. We want to do things anyway. Mind wipe, on the other hand, is quite bad, but uh, we'll stick with it for now, and we'll get another pack of cigarettes and trade. Um, probably reason instead, because we will be running out of. Um, we will be running out of funds, which is the event we just got. So, uh, if we can keep surviving, though, it'd be nice. But uh, if we keep rolling badly, then it won't be nice. So, um, here's hoping. So, as much as I didn't want to stay at that amount of reason, uh, I need to look at my doom. Um, wow, I don't even get that. Man, Yashiro. It's because he starts with 4 Strength on Harbinger, I think, is what it is. Unless I'm going crazy and he doesn't actually start with 4 Strength, but... Um, I need to hit this, is what I'm trying to say. Good. Um, uh, I don't think we could have Desperate Action out. Could we have? I guess we're about to find out, because 8 damage to it at 16 HP, and this does 18 HP. Never mind, I wasted Reason. Well, we definitely do need to rest once, though. Um, I'm not willing to go in with that. Uh... And let's find out. Well, come on. Dexter. Oh, roll to 12. Guess I die. Well, if you have any suggestions as to what I should be doing here and there, I can't resist because I'll die uh, to reason, I think. So let's trade stamina for reason and then get absolutely pummeled by... Ta uh, not Takashi-san. Akamanto, maybe. Before, right before we run into a, we run into a glued corpse. Um, the lower power is nice, but we still... Yeah, we still can't guarantee an attack. So... Racing it is. And then we can desperate action, thankfully, but... Yeah, because it's, uh... It's 7 damage, it becomes 15, because it's actually... It it looks to be 7.5 based on strong uh, attack multiplier. 
And then we add two HP because we are um, it though two, and we have zeal. Any? Do we have anything to use? No, we don't. So away I go. But yeah, I think we immediately can do this. So yeah, that was my mistake. Um, I should have. I should have known I could do 17 health, but I that's that's I know I forget that uh, monkey I forget monkey wrench does 15 on um, desperate action str uh, strong attack. So yeah, that's a me thing. Anywho, what do we have next? Sailors and painting. Well, I guess into painting we go. Six stamina, six reason. I would like to be healthier. I have a lump of flesh, but it, it's reason I'm really worried about. But I would rather do this and into uh, sailors than sailors into um, uh, painting. But uh, also, because saving sailors for last allows me to maybe get weapons or uh, items to throw away, because if we're on timeline B, the boss will absolutely destroy us um, on Harbinger. So, we'll trade stamina here for now. Uh, we need the Doom still, in my opinion. And uh, let's see what we can do. Well, this is... Well, we can do this. Uh, and next turn... I think I should just do this, just to be safe, yeah. Because I do uh, 17 I do 17 damage on a Desperate Action Prep Strong. I do have to remember not to fight this boss, though. So uh, let me make sure I don't do that as I grab a Light Source. So yeah. Yeah, so again, I won't argue that Yashiro is probably the worst one now, right? But if we're not, if we're not including custom default characters, um, with custom default characters, it would probably be Hayano. But right after that would likely be Yashiro because again Mizuki at least got something and it's something she can use uh please give me well do I just want to take this chance for perception no I don't uh tiny cuts thankfully so it wasn't the worst thing in the world but yeah with four perception I wasn't willing to roll maybe I would have gotten the katana but that's not me so yeah uh, we need two of these if I'm gonna do that anyway I might as well just do this I'm, if I'm gonna take four reason damage anyway yeah, I'm just gonna do this. And I kill him anyway, but even if he heals 1 HP. So one more investigation and uh, we'll get out. Uh, just dexterity versus knowledge. <sighs> it rolled an 11. What do you want? Well, at least I'm in Sailors. We lost Bath. But losing Bath doesn't matter, right? Again, I'm being very sarcastic here. That's But for some people, it doesn't matter, all right? And they have better strats than me sometimes. Uh, because I do things like grab cigarettes, but at the same time, um, yeah, we deal with it. So we throw the, I want to throw, yeah, I want to throw away the empty bottle. I have to anyway. We'll throw the bronze crucifix probably at the end of this run. Basically, I try really hard to survive despite the odds, literally despite the odds. Um, I'm pretty sure I need to rest once. If for no other reason than if I'm going to be resting at the lighthouse, I might as well be doom efficient there. Thankfully, we passed the luck check, so maybe we have back-ended RNG for this run, but with that, now we don't. Um, ugh. Ugh. What happens if I get out of funds? I know I'm losing at least six stamina, so I can't trade stamina. I can trade reason, probably. So let's hope we either don't get out of funds. Uh, yeah, so a sewing kit would be nice, but why would I ever get a sewing kit here? Oh, uh, I could sell the flashlight as well, but I think we have a light check, so... Yeah, we're gonna do our best to survive. Um, if we eat damage from out of funds, then I will... I have to rest. So the inf not the infested girl, the bark woman was our second encounter. So if we remember that, we should be fine. Um, I can't remember which is which. I don't remember what the right... I know you lose faith, but... Also, I should switch this, but it might be a bit too late. Man, maybe it's not. I'm gonna do this just to be safe. Um, but yeah, because we shouldn't. If well, if we do have a downtown investigation, so be it. We're in nicotine withdrawal and right into an encounter. Thankfully, question mark. It's Canis, but um, now we can't get prep attack anymore, so that's unfortunate. But it's not like I really have much of a choice unless I plan to do something like this, which I can't even. Well, I mean, I can do this. The chance of me missing both of these is quite low, so let's go for it. Good. Um, let's throw away the bronze crucifix now. Thankfully, we didn't run to out of funds. We are on timeline B, so it's a good thing. I also could have thrown the flashlight at something, but I didn't know for sure. And uh, yeah, away we go. So I should... Actually, with uh, nicotine withdrawal, we may not survive, but let's hope. Um, 
Because I think we have Takshi-san. We can throw a bunch of stuff at him. Um, but we have nine reasons, so theoretically I can just eat a whole... Yeah, I can just throw everything I have at Takshi-san, and we have a lump of flesh as well. Uh, so, yeah, I completely forgot I had a lump of flesh. <laughs> um, second encounter. Do we have that check even? We do. Um, so... Yeah, in the Bark... As long as we get the Bark Woman question right, we should survive no matter what. Because even if Takshi-san hits us once, uh, we shouldn't die. Um, I do... Wow, I... Why do I not remember this? I want to say... No, I took arms because I did... I would, wanted to take Akamanto third. Because I know I knew I was going to arrest Akamanto. Uh, three stamina. And now we can desperate action Takshi-san. So he should immediately... Oh, lump of flesh, please. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate. We have a little bit out of... Um... No, we don't, we don't want to talk to someone. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Anywho, the Bark Woman. And even if I failed that... No, I would have survived anyway. So, hey, we'll take... Uh, well, no, we'll, I won't do anything else. I mean, yeah, I could still die here. But we won, basically. So, tried as hard as I could. And, uh, hey, we managed to survive for now. So... Um, yeah, without further ado, subscribing would help me out the most. I'll just say this really quickly. Otherwise, I won't take up more of your time. If you have any suggestions as to what you want to see me do on World of Horror, uh, let me know. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.